Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Ty Campbell. I'm here in the Tekken studio to talk to you about active drag. For today's example, I'm going to use an Axial SCX10 Jeep JK Wrangler with 1.9 tires on it. This rig weighs in at about 9 pounds ready to run, it has a RX4 ESC and a Rock 412 3100KV motor in it. So now let's take a look at drag brake in action traditionally with no active drag and drag brake with active drag. Now as you can see here, I have drag brake set at 100 and active drag off. So my truck is sitting still, but as soon as I touch trigger and it comes off neutral signal, drag brake turns off and the truck starts to roll and actually accelerates down until I let it back to neutral in which full drag brake engages and you get a nice bumper stand. For this example, I have drag brake at 100% and active drag turned on. You can see that as soon as I touch throttle, the truck starts to move but it doesn't roll away like it does without active drag. You can controllably come down a hill, and if I wanna speed up and then slow down, you're slowing down and brakes are being applied as you're letting off the trigger. Now, no two trucks are the same and no two drivers are the same, no two setups are the same, so I would highly recommend just turning active drag on, turn your drag brake all the way up to 100 and go for a drive. That's the only way you're gonna be able to really see how effective this is at helping control your rig's descent speed. This gives you much more control, it's going to give you a huge boost in driver confidence, and it's going to give you a huge boost in ability also. Now the cool thing about this new setting is that we also have introduced in the ability to change the drag brake strength via a third channel on your radio, or a fourth channel, fifth channel, whatever spare channel you happen to have, if your radio has the right programmability and the right switches to do so. We'll cover that in another video later on. Drag brake is brake that only appears when your ESC is in neutral position. So if your radio is even one click onto throttle, one click onto brake, that could affect your drag brake engaging. The minute you touch throttle and it leaves neutral signal, drag brake is gone. Active drag is just that, it's active, it's always on. So you don't get this runaway feeling if you're on a decline and you go ahead and grab a little bit of throttle, normally your drag brakes would disappear completely and you'd be rolling down the hill until you let off, hit neutral, and drag brakes would re-engage. Active drag totally negates this runaway issue. The drag brake is always there, not just on neutral. So as soon as you leave neutral and start pulling throttle, the brake is there and you literally have to drive through it. Same thing while you're already in throttle, there is drag brake there. So as soon as you start letting off of your trigger, your truck is actually gonna start slowing down already because there's already brake happening. You don't have to wait until you hit neutral for the drag brake to fully engage. This gives you way better control over your rig's descent speed when coming down steep slopes. Now there's lots of different factors that can affect how strong your drag brakes are. Rig weight, rig gearing, brake frequency, or the strength of the magnet inside the motor. Active drag is available by default on all Teak and Brushless ESCs. So all you have to do is turn up your drag brake strength and you'll be able to see what active drag is doing. So this isn't just a feature for rock crawlers, it can be a feature for anybody racing on a track on road or off road. And what this can give you is a greater sense of drag in your drive line. So say your car is way too free rolling and you wanna be able to have more consistent braking coming into a corner, that's where active drag can help you a little bit because you don't have to roll all the way to neutral throttle in order to see the drag brake happen. It'll happen as you come down off of throttle slowly towards neutral. Really, there is no right or wrong answer. I would highly suggest just setting some drag brake, turning active drag on, and go wheel on the track for a couple laps and see how you like it. So that's pretty much it for active drag. I'm glad you guys watched. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you liked the video, please be sure to like and share, subscribe for more Tekken content. I'm Ty Campbell, thanks for watching.